To Father Christine A. Cordero, SVD, DWCC President, Father Vicente D. Castro Jr., SVD, Vice President for Administration, Father Timoteus Gampur, SVD, 
Vice President for Finance, Brother Hubertus Guru SVD, Visit Education Director, Father Renato L. Malbog, SVD, School Chaplain and Director of CES, Father Robert Allen M. Nikan, SVD, Associate Chaplain, Dr. Aleli C. Dugan, CPA, Vice President for Academic Affairs, School Deans, Faculty Members, to our beloved parents, to the graduates, good morning to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to start this moment by heartily welcoming you all to this very significant event of our lives. It is amazing how time flies so fast. In the blink of an eye, our years in college have passed. These have been years with the lessons, laughters, heartbreaks, frustrations, and sleepless nights. I am sure that we have all been big dreamers at some point before entering college. Our minds have been filled with ideal things of what we could be and what we wanted to be. Surely, college life has been easy in some ways. After all, it just have been just another milestone for us to have been accomplished before getting into the real world. No one would have ever guessed the things we will have to go through in college. Some of us might have set goals to, to be achieved like getting into the dean's list, getting Latin honors, or something as simple as not failing any subject. All of them are good goals to be achieved. However, I'm also sure some of us have failed once, twice, a few more times in achieving our personal goals. There have been times that we wanted to give up and stop. There might have been instances where we questioned ourselves or even compared our failures to our peers' achievements. We were once filled with ideal dreams, faced with the reality of the challenges of college life. But look at us now, present here on our graduation day, almost touching our dreams that we have worked hard to achieve. We have been faced with a new challenge that no one has experienced before. Many of us struggle with the pandemic hitting our country. There have been many adjustments to be made, including us graduating now virtually, instead of getting on stage that I'm sure a lot of us has long anticipated. The online class has been very difficult not only because a good learning environment has been taken away from us, but also we have lost being able to experience hardships and success in person with our fellow students. These challenges that we have faced have made us learn many things in life. Our failures not only made us stronger, but also they have taught us that we can make mistakes and we will face new challenges on our way to success. The important thing is that we take these mistakes and turn them into experiences so that in the future, we can remember these experiences to avoid committing them again. In addition, our failures serve as an instrument for other opportunities. Opportunities to learn new things, explore our strengths and weaknesses, and even meet new people. These challenges would prepare us for even bigger opportunities and would teach us to cope up with heartbreaks and failures when we face the real world. Maybe not everything went according to our plans, but I'm sure we have added new experiences along the way. And with this, I would like to say congratulations to all of us, my fellow graduates. God has given us this day for us to celebrate both success and failures. We also celebrate the end of a chapter in our lives and the beginning of another chapter. There may be times that we have doubted our progress, but I can assure you that we have all grown together in every celebration and struggle of our college. 
Today, it marks the 75th commencement, right, of our alma mater, Divine Word College of Calapan. To our beloved DWCC, thank you for catering to our dreams. Another batch has set to stretch its wings and to fly high and to reach its dreams. In the years we spent here, we have not only been taught of the program-related lessons, but also we have learned the values we need to create an impact to the world. It is my honor to welcome everyone to the virtual graduation ceremony of the 75th Commencement Rite of the Batch 2020-2021. Thank you and God bless all of us. It is my pleasure to award the medals to the following other graduates. Accesso Lady A with high distinction. Magdrula Rafael S with high distinction. Congratulations. The President of the Divine Word College of Calapan, Reverend Father Christine Cordero, SVD. To the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Aleli C. Dugan, CPA. And to all the other administrators, school deans, office heads, faculty and employees, parents and guardians, and to my fellow graduates, a victorious morning to all of us. First of all, I would like to congratulate you, my fellow graduates, for a job well done. Because after years of hard work, we have been finally done with this phase of our life. Speaking on behalf of the graduates today is a great privilege, but making this speech has been very challenging too. I may not be able to capture each and everyone's unique experiences in and out of our campus, but I hope my words will be meaningful to all of you. The COVID-19 virus has turned the world and our final year in DWCC upside down. And now, we find ourselves having to celebrate our graduation virtually. What could have been one of the most unforgettable moments of our lives has been replaced by staring at our electronic devices for a few hours and hoping that our internet connection will not be interrupted. Allow me to share a prayer which has been my favorite the first time I have heard it, and I hope that it will help ease the frustration that we feel with our graduation set up today. The prayer goes this way, and I quote, Father, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, unquote. We cannot change the fact that the pandemic has shattered our dreams of walking through the stage with our toga on and being personally handed our hard-earned diplomas. But we can change our attitude towards it. I know we all feel frustrated with the way things are, but let us not forget the true essence of this ceremony. It is about recognizing and celebrating accomplishments, being proud of your journey, and marking the end of a phase in our life and the beginning of another. Our graduation theme, Accelerating Excellence, Education with Mission, not only somewhat reflects my life story, but also it is embodied in our alma mater's mission statement, which we have been reciting for years. That is to develop and to enhance the capabilities of the person to become witness to the word and responsive to the demands of the society. The mission of DWCC is not only to promote academic excellence and global competence, but also to equip us with the knowledge, skills, and dispositions needed to contribute to a better society. If you are currently sitting comfortably in your seats watching this, you have been given much. There are many people who will never, ever have the privilege that we have in being here. And in accepting this privilege, there is much required of us. Let our excellence go far beyond this academic milestone that we have just received. Let us use this education to spark the difference and to challenge ourselves to transform our skills 
for the common good. Fellow graduates, let the DWCC's mark of excellence that we have received be known in concrete acts of service to be extended to the professions that we are about to embrace in the society at large, since the world and the workplace that we are about to enter are too different than how we expected them to be due to the ongoing pandemic. We, the candidates, are so much more than the degree that we will hold in this graduation ceremony, being able to get our diploma with our achievements that will be reflected in our yearbooks is just a bonus. It would not even be an assurance to fame and fortune. I believe that there's so much more to a person than his or her academic performance. And standing in behalf of my batch today, I challenge you as well to see beyond your achievements. What our society needs is not just academically qualified professionals, but also those who are completely endowed with values. Let the DWCC core values that we all have been practicing for years urgate in the community. Lastly, I encourage all of you to dream and to work hard not only for yourselves but also for this country as well. Whether you are one of the EGAs, magnets, controllers, mentors, experts, or knights, we stand here today as one graduating batch with the same mission to build a better future for all. On behalf of the graduating batch, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to those who have contributed to this success. To our classmates and friends, thank you for making our college life colorful and bearable. Special thanks to my friends, Kongs and Kongs, for Friday eat outs, unnecessary overnights, yearly outings, mandatory birthday blowouts, and for my daily supply of chicas, even in the middle of an examination night. There were no dull moments with you, guys. I also would like to give special recognition to two of the closest people in my heart, Pao and Matt. I will forever be grateful for our low maintenance and judgment-free relationship. I love you both. To the DWCC community, thank you for instilling in our hearts and minds the values of integrity, social responsibility, excellence, and evangelization. We will forever be grateful for having the chance to be a part of this educational institution. To our professors and mentors, for their consideration, hard work, and kind help, especially to the School of Accountancy for pushing me beyond my limits and for constantly reminding me to be the best that I can be. Thank you very much. To our parents and guardians, for their unending love, for always being patient and kind, and for selflessly giving us the support we need financially and emotionally. You are the reason for all of us being here today. I also would like to take this opportunity to give honor to my parents. Ma, Pa, thank you for the sacrifices that you have made in order to give us an education. Thank you for taking up extra work to support our needs. And most importantly, thank you for making me appreciate what I have and to accept what I do not have. I cannot express any further how grateful I am to have you as my inspiration in everything. And above all, to our Creator for guiding us along the way, for hearing and answering our prayers, and most especially, for blessing us with amazing people. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing experience. We offer this success to you. Let me end this speech by sharing to you a famous quote by Robert Byrne. And I quote, The purpose of life is a life of purpose. Unquote. Congratulations to us, Batch 2021. May we find purpose in everything we do, and may God bless us all. God bless the Divine Word College of Kalapan. It is my honor to award the loyalty medals to the following graduates. Again, Leon Jose Cristel Marie P. Carmona Bermon Fitz V. Carandang Rowena M. 
Gawad Mayan P. Congratulations! To the President, Father Crispin A. Cordero, SBD, members of the Cabinet, members of the Academic Council, members of the Administrative Council, faculty members, parents, fellow graduates, and other persons who are with us today, pleasant greetings to everyone. It is my honor to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, and I quote, Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. I believe education is the first step to become successful. And we need to keep on taking other steps until we reach our destination. There is no shortcut to success. We don't need to jump. We have to take those steps one at a time. And in every other step that we will take, a better version of ourselves will emerge. Of course, there are challenges along the way. Today, we are living in fear of enemies that we do not see. You know, it seems like we may hate the letter Q of the alphabet because it always appears in the classification of quarantines. It started from ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, and now we are in the MC, MGCQ. We just hope that we will not be identified as graduates of class 2021Q. I hope not. The effort to complete our academic requirements in Juta, despite the uncertainties amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, is simply remarkable. Though we did not obtain the grade that we expected, the fact that we are part of this momentous event is still extraordinary. Grades do not define us as a person. Our attitude to stand to the challenges makes us a better person. Yes, we have conquered the challenges. Our dedication and perseverance have paved the way toward the realization of our dreams and goals as a student. I believe that we are here today to harvest the fruits of our labor that we have cultivated from the past. My passion for reaching the apex of education and all our achievements will not be realized without the help of our mentors. We are grateful to have great mentors to share our victory today. And they will always remain in our hearts and memories for the years to come. Thank you for the love and support. I know there are still many steps to be taken after this graduation. Let us take those steps with pride to realize our ultimate dreams. Many opportunities are already waiting for us. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, I have the honor to request the authorities of the Divine Word College of Calapan to petition and confer upon us our respective titles and degrees. Father President, as Vice President for Academic Affairs for school year 2020 to 2021, I have the honor to present you 15 candidates for graduation from the Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Management. Two candidates for graduation from the Doctor of Philosophy in Management. 36 candidates for graduation 
from the Master of Arts in Education, 14 candidates for graduation from the Master in Business Administration, and 6 candidates for graduation from the Master in Public Administration. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education for school year 2020 to 2021 with all the rights, honor, and privileges their anti for Father President, the candidates. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Commission on Higher Education and by the Board of Trustees of the Vineyard College of Tanapan, as President, I hereby confer your respective degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations done to pertaining. Congratulations. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Management Bermoy Darius A. Bermoy Dennis A. Karandang Joan G. Karandang Ruena M. Castillo Maria Delia F. Falseso Elaine A. with high distinction. Gawad Mayan P. Iglesias Jesusa C. Jacinto Arnolfo A. Jose Cecil D. Maderazo Amelia L. Martinez Jr. Edwin D. Pablo Josie L. Quiñones Chinky T. And Salazar Albert Z. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Management Magdurulang Rafael S. with high distinction and Sagun Noyno M. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Master of Arts in Education Abo Dionel H. Argilius Grace A. Faraon Leila M. Greco Darwin M. Lim Marilyn A. Torres Ciara Corina M. Bandilaria Queenie M. Bisco Monel S. Ampatua Jonai S. Asusenas Dina D. Gamboa Elisa F. Madali Lavine R. Manuel Angelica M. Taniedo Trixia Don S. Lanuso Sheila B. Ramos Sherry T. Bilal Yunis M. Dimaano Melanie T. Herbero Jake M. Gonzalez J. Warven L. 
Leiko Pedro Jr. P. Muleta Marilyn M. Pedragosa Mervin M. Torres Senet C. Abelgas Ana Maria Teresa N. Baral Albert N. Ponti Diana K. P. De Castro Melis. Después Carmela M. Di Mayuga Jean Rose D. Herrera Evangeline M. Mendoza Rina May S. Reniva Maria Isabel D. Delia Lobos Junes D. D. Galindez Maria Cristina Joy P. Mercado Nick Chinri U. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Master in Business Administration. Banta Kaiser J. F. Talo Travis J. M. Bertuccio Emelson C. Asibilio Harvin Custer B. Ariola Ruby Joy S. Bayani Lillian E. Dima Ala Hans Jansen S. Henabi Rachel Ann A. Gutierrez Maria Fe A. Yamar Bain Raksha R. Magsino Jamelin A. Malakas Cremelita P. Morilia Dan Paulo S. Sin Claudette G. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Master in Public Administration. Adame Emery Joy R. Carpio Elizabeth C. Del Rio Laralin A. Radovan Ophelia F. Generato Christian M. Mendoza Maria Angelo A. Father President, as Vice President for Academic Affairs for school year 2020 to 2021, I have the honor to present to you two candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Arts in English Language. Two candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Three candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Criminology. 21 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Architecture. 82 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. 14 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. 8 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering. 29 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. 11 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology. Three candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Four candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Five candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education for school year 2020 to 2021, with all the rights, honor, and privileges their antiquity. For the President, the candidates.
by virtue of the power vested in me by the Commission on Higher Education and by the Board of Trustees of the Vineyard College of Calapan. As President, I hereby confer your respective degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations done to pertaining. Congratulations. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates of Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Abbas Jan Daniel S. and Cruz Denmar L. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates of Bachelor of Arts in English Language. Andres Bernalen B. And Lita Jan Israel P. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Criminology. Abutar Michael Kevin Akyatan Kali Sander C. And Ordansa Maika Hayona C. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirement for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Amorin Saibes Laitan R. Aragon Quiti. Bruce Jethro Robert P. Kabutsan Haley Mary P. Carmona Vermont Pitts V. Cueto Kaiser C. Estrada John Christopher. Estrada Carl Chester L. Gonzalez Floreville A. Jimenez Marjitoli L. Dave Jerwin D. Laracas Justin Ted D. Marasigan Jethro G. Mendoza Raquel C. Monta Mark Angelo V. Montaril Nino J. U. Morta Hanape T. Ramirez Julian M. Ramirez Trisha Nicole E. Silang Queen Jessa May M. And Walsh Chan C. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Ahilion Ponce Cristel Marie P. Ahoro Elway Dale I. Alvarado Mark Benedict D. Alvera Arjon S. Apostol Eric Lorenzo V. Armada Luis Ann M. Baja Angelica E. Baldera Robert Joshua M. Balmes Jeffrey R. Balupinos Mark Jason L. Bantugan Yale Jansen Jaira S. 
Barrios Mark Chan G. Veron Rachel A. Verondo Lisa Jane S. Binay Lawrence Angel D. Kaaway Patricia Ann C. Kabuhal Heide Lynn M. Kapunpon John Leonard G. Karanso Jelaila M. Karingal Carla May T. Karumba Chelsea Ina S. Castro Jular S. Senas Mark Anthony B. Chavez Jerwin I. Cipres Jokris T. Laberia John Mark J. Comandante Jenny Nico T. Kuya Katrina A. Dalisay Kate Allen C. David Roy Jolan C. De Guzman John Sunel E. De La Cruz D.S. Sodina S. De La Cruz Lenny Jane M. Gestura William Sheila L. Dolores de Maria and V. Enrique Jr. Darwin M. Evangelista Irene C. Evora Christine Joy I. Fajardo Marvin E. Felices Brian Ronald D. Florida Chris Fancy E. Kagani Ana Sofia M. Galigao John Emil. Gamayo Christine Danelle C. Garcia Archie L. Jeremiah Christian D. Goda Chowen Timothy I. Hernandez Aaron Joseph T. Hanabaha Joy Ann P. Aplos John Cardo S. Javier Aaron D. Landicho Junjun C. Rosenio Jaisel M. Makaraig Leian ACC. Magpantay Maria Delna Rey. Magundayaw Kathleen B. Malaluan Mark Rainiel D. Malibiran Eman B. Manungsong Cloud Michael B. Mantaring Laisel M. Maranan Julius Patrick J. Marasigan Mark Lawrence A. Marasigan Michael R. Maravilla Saibil R. Mendoza Monica Patricia P. Muratin Maria Janelle Faith B. Napa Eunice May T. Padrones John Ronald C. Leano Daniel B. Romero Kyle I. Sabalio Archel Joseph B. Sandoval Raylon F. Soko Aljon L. 
Albina Visan Gansel M. Umali William Lloyd C. Valenzuela Mark Andrew L. Villanueva Angelica Bernadette V. Villanueva Lisel M. Villanueva Sam Ivan Elise F. Villaruel Reinhardt Angelo D. Bitan Ann Laverne C. And Jabot Kyle Jeffrey F. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Alcano Paula Dejan E. Aliwalas Mark J. Q. Bartulay John Michael M. Evora Taxi K. Mendoza. Gamayo Kathleen Nell C. Judan Joshan Bryce C. Dampas Christine Joy P. Deviste Maria Vera Cristina M. Makaraig Nico R. Maramot Blaise Nicole S. Maramot Patrick John B. Marcel J. Melted R. Nuresto G. Boy L. And Villanueva Santiago Jr. M. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering. Adeba Leo Edwin James A. Aliwalas Averil Ann P. Delen Alben Johnson A. Lineses Charming H. Perez Chan Reynald M. Ramirez Mark Nelson E. Tomasanta Jr. Benjamin D. And Villanueva Michael Eric D. The diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Asidilio Tracy Ann R. Asibeda Bretel Paulin K. Alcaraz Precious Adrian M. Almonte Avicha Micaela C. Aniel Dex Adrian P. Araman Sheila May M. Dinay Rose Ann B. Bolanos Johanna Grace S. Bulaklak Liset D. Gandor Monica Cheyen C. Coronel April Bless B. De La Cruz Aleli Joy I. De La Cruz Karen L. De Los Reyes, Karen May B. Elane Malak 
M. Evangelista Russell May B. Garcia K. A. Goda Yvette Micah A. Hernandez Cristara B. Haplos Chesca May R. Jose Judy Ann C. La Torre Ashley Colin H. Beneses Trisha May S. Maak Trisha L. Magmanda Chris Mark C. Maling Danica Jane M. Masusong Pauline May A. Mendoza Charles Glenn B. And Ortiz Brian M. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology. Bugante Chia C. Katapang Cedric M. Cruz Trisha May V. Pusi John Lee A. Dindasan Maria Trisha Ibon A. Gimbal Cyril D. Pobokan Elaine May S. Salcedo, Trisha Ann A. Sena, Lumi J. B. Trinidad, Diana Gloria R. And Villanueva, Diana Grace. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Arellano Jeremy Cedric. De La Peña Aaron Tad I. And Gaboy Lexel C. The family are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Binabay Shaira Jean A. Kabuhay and Jaiden P. Martinez Charmaine Liu and Lovencito Bien Cyril X. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Abo Christian King N. Espejo Mac Kevin C. Fernandez Shella B. Garong Beatrice P. And Mio Renessa Iris M.
raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name, Elini A. Falseso, being a graduate of the Divine Word College of Calapan, do hereby solemnly promise before all present the following to live up to the principles and ideals of my alma mater, the Divine Word College of Calapan. Uphold and defend the human rights and dignity of all persons, work for the betterment of the people, and proclaim and witness through my life the kingdom of God and do all for his greater honor and glory. So help me God. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please state your name, do solemnly swear, I will maintain faith with the end for which the Divine Word College of Calapan Alumni Association is constituted. I will as member thereof, abide by the sound and reasonable consensus of the majority to the end that the association may maintain goodwill and dignity. I will conduct myself in public as loyal member, worthy of a DWCC representative of Christian education. I will do no falsehood, nor consent to the doing of any in my profession. And in all dealings, I will to the best of my ability, be guided by the oft-repeated principle of the professional ethics. To the end, and this may be realized, I impose myself this voluntary obligation without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me. Oh, 
Thank you. 